We're going to have a look at a MemoQ project involving SDL XLIF files from SDL Trotto Studio. Here we have a docx file in Microsoft Word, which we have imported to Trotto Studio and saved as an SDL XLIF file. We're going to import this file now to MemoQ by clicking the import command, selecting the file, and clicking open. Let's have a look at the file to translate. Okay, here we can see it in the translation grid and we can begin our work. And now we're done. So we're going to export our translation. And here we see it in Trotto Studio with all of the segments confirmed. Now I've received the SDL XLIF file that I translated back with some changes and I would like to import that into my project so that I can update my TM. So what I'm going to do is re-import the document, click No, which will allow me to import the new document that I received, and then I will select the revised translation. Click open. You'll notice that the version is now 2.0. Let's have a look at the file. I can see that the customer has gone through and signed off on most of my translation, but I see two segments here where some changes have been made because the status is edited in MemoQ and let's have a quick look through and see if there are any further changes. No, those appear to be the only changes. So let's have a quick look and here we can see what we'd originally translated. Hmm. No, I prefer my original so I'm going to change this back. Okay, I like that. I'll keep it. And now I'm done. I will go ahead and export the document once again so that I can return it to the customer with my changes. And I would also like to send this translation to Live Docs. And I've got a corpus for poultry. So I will add my username to this and click OK. Now this is available as a reference for future work. Now the customer informs me that there's a new version of the file which they've also supplied as an SDL XLIF. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to re-import the document once again. select the new version of my file and click open. Let's see what the differences are with the old version. We select the file and we can go down to history and reports and we would like to compare this version which is listed as version 3 in MemoQ with the last version that we had. And let's tell it to export a two column view of the changes so that we can see the difference between the two source files and get a quick overview.
Let's have a look at that file now. Here we see the changes made at the beginning of the file. Okay, there appears to be another change toward the end, but that's just a matter of segmentation. Okay, let's go back to the file. And open it up and have a look. All right, they didn't pre translate anything. So let's go up to the Operations menu and choose X Translate. And we would like to use the last version, which was the corrected version that we re imported. So, of the two versions that we could do this comparative translation with, we're going to use the second major version. and we would like to confirm and lock all of the parts that have not changed. So we'll click OK. And here we see that the first part has not been translated because that was the part which we saw it changed when we did the source text comparisons. And then there's that other change in the middle. Okay. So now we can translate. Now we're finished with the translation of the second version of our chicken file and I'm getting ready to export it. So let's take a quick look over the file. Ah, I see a small warning here indicated by the lightning bolt. So there's some sort of a quality assurance problem. Let's double click on that to see what's wrong. Aha, we've forgotten a couple of tags. So we'll close this and add the tags. Confirm. And now we can export our file. And here we see the translation back in SDL Trotto Studio. You'll also notice that the segments which were locked in MemoQ remain locked when the file gets back to Trottos. So now we can save a target file and we're done.